Hey YouTube family, it's Raven, back to provide you with another right on time word from the Lord. And the word is, are you ready to launch? Three, two, one. Okay, so I'm actually really excited to deliver this word. I've been meaning to release it for quite a while now, and I feel like the Lord gave me the green light today, go. And yeah, so are you ready to launch? Are you seeing... Are you seeing rocket ships and NASA and 321 or 123 countdown, final countdown? This could be for you. Make sure to take it back to the Lord. Okay, so I'm going to start at the beginning because this is a, this actually, I'm really excited about this because this is, you know, God's getting ready to launch you into your mission, the thing that you've been waiting patiently for him to be moving you into and, uh, this is actually for me too. I'm a part of this launch, so I'm really pumped up about it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start start in the beginning. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, so how did I get this word? <laughs> All right, so last year was a challenging year for me. There's a lot. Of, the Lord changed a lot of things in my life. Okay, so last year May would have been on the end of May. Okay, I was at the gym, and it was on a holiday. Is it? Memorial Day? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I was at the gym and there was somebody else at the gym with me too. It was closed that day. But we had 24 hour access. We went in. Who works out on a holiday, right? Us. Okay. And so a man comes in, some random man rolls up into the gym. We'd never seen him before. And I just, he, he began speaking to us and he was, he was just different. He was really excited. He was just telling us a, a lot of different stuff. And I just knew that I knew that I knew that he was a God sent person. Now he didn't say anything necessarily profound, you know, and I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, well, he didn't say anything necessarily that changed in my life, but I just knew that I knew that I knew that he was sent in for a purpose. Okay. And then all right, so he he left, and he before he left, he said, you could Google my name. So you could Google my name. So after he left, we Googled his name, me and this other person, and he uh, he was an astronaut. <laughs> he was a famous person, and he's all, like, all over Google. His name's Jerry Leninger, and he has been to space and wrote a book about it. So he's an astronaut. So I was like, oh my gosh, we, we met an astronaut in small town Holstein, Iowa. <laughs> okay. And so I was like, that was a really interesting, interesting encounter. Okay. And then I kind of put it in my pocket and life moved on. So it was about 48 hours after that encounter, I was actually given my very first promise from the Lord. I was given a covenantal promise, okay? So the Lord said, I'm going to show you your future. This is what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to give you a prophetic word, and now you're going to go on a journey, okay? So it's right after that, he's like, my pro the mission, it was a mission, right? So he's giving me, this is going to be your mission, but you're going to have to go into training and prepare for it, okay? And yeah, so then, you know, I don't You've been given a promise, you go on a journey, okay? And the journey is challenging. And so I'm I'm going on the journey. So that was in May. So by the time September rolls around, a lot of things have changed in the spiritual realm, okay? The Lord has opened my eyes. He has increased my, my sight. I'm seeing him more clearly. I'm hearing him more clearly. He has uh, accelerated my prophetic gifting. So a lot of things are changing. So it's like in September, I'm starting to, you know, get the repetitive words, the repetitive, the Lord speaking to us, he's going to show us something repetitive and we're going to connect the dots. Okay. And we get the message. All right. So he starts giving me a lot of things regarding NASA. I start seeing rocket ships, like back to back to back. I remember the first one, it was like five minutes. I'd I got like a, a rapper, had a rocket on it. Then I hear Rocket Man on the radio and then I'm on my feed and it's all blowing up with all this NASA stuff. And I'm like, what does this mean? And then, you know, the next couple of days, it's just constant. You know, like my daughter, my, my children are always confirming things. She's like bringing me a sweatshirt and it has a rocket ship on it. And it's just constant, constant, constant NASA stuff. And and so what the Lord was saying is, you know, you're get ready to launch, get ready to go to new heights. Okay. And I remember that Sunday, it'd been going on for a couple of days. That Sunday I woke up and there was the, the new song by Imagine Dragons, you know, children of the sky. And the whole song is about shooting into the stars and stuff. It was just, 
it, it, it was pretty cool. And that's what he was saying. You know, you're, you're launching, you're launching. Okay. And so I believe that was in September. I believe there was a big launch in September. <laughs> okay. Like there was a lot of people getting ready to launch in September. All right. And now it's happening again. Okay. So within the last month, I'm starting to, I feel like I'm in outer space. Okay. Everywhere I turn, Oh, there's another billboard of a spaceman, an astronaut. Okay. I'm seeing license plates. that say Apollo gravity everywhere. I turn it's NASA. It's, you know, I go to this, I was um, at a clothing store the other day. There's a NASA shirt. Uh, I'm getting the three, two, one almost every single day. A lot of the cartoons that my children are watching, I'll just, Roz, like, come in and watch this with me. I was just watching Boss Baby the other day. And I come in and right at the time I sit down, there's three, two, one. They're like shooting this rocket into space. Uh, I just watch a Paw Patrol, same thing. Like three, two, one. It's just everywhere, everywhere I go. I'm just constant, constant, constant. Okay, I'm getting the song Final Countdown on the radio quite a bit. And uh what was the other one? I just got it on my YouTube yesterday. And that's how I knew it. It's a final countdown. It's popping up everywhere. It's a final countdown. Okay. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Are you ready? Okay. So what the Lord is saying. Oh, and then the other one too, like the U-Hauls are coming in like movements. And so we had neighbors. They just moved in next door. Okay. So there's a U-Haul and then it was an astronaut. It was a picture of an astronaut on it. It's just so much guys. It's just so this, the details. Okay. And it's just, there's, you know, me in the store, there's like Oreos with space. I get on my timeline, my YouTube timeline, and it's literally live launchings from NASA. I don't follow NASA. They're just popping up everywhere. What was another good one? The Cheeto. I seen 321 and I took a picture of it to send to somebody. It's like, look, 321, there it is, counting down. And I looked at it in more detail and it was actually a Cheeto of a rocket ship. <laughs> it's just, it's exciting. It's fun. I enjoy it. Okay. And then another one, one of my other confirmations that I really liked. Okay. So we know that Prince Augustus is always confirming things, right? So it was a while back. I'd opened my Bible and this picture was in there. <laughs> it's Prince Augustus as an astronaut. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Okay. So what the Lord is saying, okay, I could keep going on. I'll just think of more details. They'll keep coming. They're just so good. They're just so good all the time. Okay. So what the Lord is saying is, are you ready to launch? Are you ready to launch? He's given you a mission. Okay. So this could be, uh, this could be a few different things. Okay. So you guys are getting ready to launch into whatever it is the Lord has promised that he is going to, he's given you a mission, right? So that mission could be ministry, that it could be a business. I mean, they're all going to fall into the realm of ministry. They're all going to be glorifying Jesus Christ, right? But it could be a ministry, okay? It could be part of the fivefold ministry, like starting up a new church, okay? Starting up uh, just any kind of ministry, okay? A business. This could be your marriage promise as well because we know that marriage is a mission, okay? This could be... Yeah, this could be whatever the Lord has told you that he's going to do your mission, he's getting ready to launch you into it. Okay. So even if I didn't cover it, be prepared. So he's, he's saying, are you ready to launch? So you've been supposed to be preparing for this. So before they send a rocket into outer space, they have to do a lot of different, you know, checks and I wanted to say checks and balances, but that's like banking, but they have to do like a lot of different final checks and making sure that it's ready to launch, you know, would it launch it out there and it's, <laughs> you know, it crashes halfway. That's not, that's scary to think about, right? So the Lord's saying, are you, are you prepared to launch? Okay. And how he showed me that I was not prepared to launch. Are you ready for this? Okay. So he gave me a dream about a month ago. And in the dream, I was packing my bags and getting ready to go into outer space. I was getting on a rocket and we were going, I've had a few different dreams with rocket ships. And this one, I got on the ship. And I, we were taken off and I was like, oh, I forgot this. I forgot this. I forgot this. And I was in this panic because I didn't pack properly. I didn't pack for the mission properly. And the Lord was saying, you still got some preparing you need to be doing. You are not ready to launch. I said, oh, darn it. So, you know, are you ready to launch? Be seeking the Lord during these final checks to make sure that you have everything packed up, packed up, ready to rock before you, you know, you get 
to the stars. Okay, don't forget your phone charger. I think that's what I forgot. And like, <laughs> don't need a phone. Who am I gonna call when I'm in outer space? <laughs> oh, but yeah, the Lord was saying, "You are not ready." <laughs> I said, "I'm not ready." <laughs> Give me some more time. <laughs> Give me some more time. Okay, but he must be thinking I'm ready now. So I'm ex excited for that. And when I say you know ready, you know this it's seasonal. So this could be your launching today, tomorrow, a couple weeks, couple months within this year. Okay, so take that take time frames back to the Lord. But if He's calling you to be prepared, be prepared. All right. So what else is He saying in this? He's saying, be prepared. Stay humble. Stay humble. So you're gonna be going into this thing that he, he's promised you he wants you to stay in a uh, in a place of humility okay because for a lot of you this is ministry and and it's you're gonna elevate pretty quickly so your face is gonna get seen okay <laughs> you you're, you're gonna go up and you're gonna go up pretty quickly and it's really nothing you did it's just it's the lord's that's just how he's working things out right now okay so stay humble he's also saying stay humble too because this isn't something that everyone experiences so what he was showing me is very few people get to take trips in outer space very few people are astronauts you know they because it takes you know you gotta go through a lot of training and you've been going through a lot of training to prepare for this mission and so you know be humble in that and you know that's an exciting thing and, and the scripture is you know Many are called, few are chosen. So this isn't something that everybody gets to experience. What you're experiencing isn't something that every every believer gets to experience. It also comes with a big responsibility. So like I said, with the training, astronauts go through extensive training to prepare for the mission. You have been undergoing training to prepare for your mission. And it's a big responsibility. Okay? All right. Oh, and the Lord is also saying to enjoy the journey. Okay, so in the dream, when I was launching, I'd forgotten a few things. And the thing is, is, you know, we're not going to be 100% prepared no matter what it is. If you're, you know, you're going to grow, you're going to learn and grow as you go. You know, if you're going into ministry, you're not going to know everything. You know, if you're called to be a pastor or a prophet, like you're, you're going to be in an office position. You're going to be training and learning as you go. So don't think like, oh, I'm not, you know, because we're trying to be perfect. We'll never, we'll never be ready to go. Or if you're going into marriage, you know, there, there's always things you're going to be working on. You're going to be learning. So don't, you might forget a few things. Okay? So, so don't get discouraged there. But the Lord is saying to enjoy the journey. So in the dream, I was, you know, looking out the window and I was looking at all the planets. I was, and I mean, it was, it was definitely hyping because it was a dream, but I was looking at the planets and I was like, oh so cool you know enjoy the journey enjoy the launch there should be I had this written down there should be uh you know nervous and excited at the same time I think that's a good balance you know if you're getting ready to take off on a rocket ship you're like I'm I'm nervous but I'm really excited <laughs> and that's how you should feel you should feel a little bit nervous you know it's it's kind of the unknown the Lord has shown you the future so you know things that are gonna happen but there's a lot of things I don't know yet but also be excited enjoy the journey enjoy you enjoy the stars look out the window okay as you're taking off and yes he's saying be prepared it's gonna go quickly and a lot of you are already hearing suddenly you're seeing two two quickly suddenly swiftly all these things because okay it takes a while to get the spaceship set up you know you're doing all the final checks and a lot of you have had false launches where is it false starts or delays okay so where you you felt like you were getting ready to launch and then, you know, every everything seems like it was, you're getting the confirmation, everything's going, going, going. And then it's just like, poof, 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 you didn't go. Okay. And what the Lord is saying is you weren't ready. It, the, the delay happened because you weren't ready. It wasn't prepared. You had to go check it again. Okay. And so it takes a while to get it prepared, to get it ready to shoot to the stars. But once it goes, it goes quick. Okay, like straight shot, you're going. So the Lord is saying it's going to go quick. So make sure if he's telling you to to do those final pref preparations that you're doing them. You know, if he's, and like I said, the U-Hauls, I'm seeing a lot of U-Hauls, so movement. So this could be movement in the spiritual realm. So he's getting ready to really increase those spiritual gifts. 
could be mo like physical movement. A lot of you are going to be re relocating, especially you're walking into ministry. If you're getting married, you're probably going to be moving to where your person's at. Um, there's going to be there's going to be movement. Okay, so there is going to be movement. So if he's calling you to pack, start packing. Start going through clothes. Just do do what he's calling you to do. Seek him in this hour. Draw close to him to make those final checks you know so when it's time to go you can go and you feel confident about going you're gonna be a little nervous you know we're all a little nervous when we get called into doing things but that you're you're confident and you know you did you did the best that you could to prepare for it all right okay all right what was the Oh, the three. Okay, so the other day I was driving home from Sioux Falls, and I've seen the three, two, one. I've seen three, two, one all the time, everywhere, guys. Like, oh, it's a, whoa, there it is again. <laughs> and it, and I, I've been seeing Unstoppable quite a bit because the Lord, you know, he he resurrected that Sia song that I always tell people is not a new song. It might be they play it like it's brand new, but it's not new. It's like over seven or eight years old. And I said it's for such a time as this. You know, he's resurrecting this. I'm unstoppable put my armor on it talks about like wearing armor for such a time as this because uh these these missions that he's calling you on he's calling you you're going on a mission right the lord's giving you a mission whether it's ministry marriage whatever it may be and you're going to be unstoppable for the kingdom of god you're going to be unstoppable you know he's he's trained and equipped you and you're going to be unstoppable so i'm driving home and I, a car passes me and it says, the license plate says unstoppable. It was a sports car. <laughs> unstoppable. I said, ooh, that's good. And then the very next car that passed me says, three, two, one. <laughs> so counting down, it's going to be unstoppable. Okay. And what was another one? Oh, the three, two, one. So I know a lot of these are, are marriage unions. The the marriage promises coming together because I'm hearing the song come together like every single day, multiple times a day. And the one day I heard it three times and like come together right now. Okay. And it was at 321 in the afternoon. And, and I get that quite often, like just different things or in the song gets you know, like one plus one plus one is three, like the triple braided chord. And so a lot, just constant, 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 constant confirmation with these. Okay. And it's really exciting. Okay. So, I feel like, uh... all right, so then I was thinking, Lord, well, what's the scripture with this? You know, I never, I never deliver a word if I don't have a scripture. Okay. And so it's just, it gets, it just keeps getting better and better. I know after I make this video, I'll have, I'll have more. And I'm like, I need to make a part two just so I can tell them this other confirmation. Cause the confirmation is, is just so exciting. You know, it makes us feel like a little kid, like, oh. Like my son's always, mom, look, I learned this about outer space. Hey, check this out. And just, always, always. Okay. So he put in my spirit, the scripture about the stars. And there was a scripture talking about shining bright, like the stars. And I was like, okay, I need to go, I need to go look into that, figure out what it is. Okay. I kid you not. It was within 24 hours. I'm listening to a video that the Lord sends me and the scripture is in that video. Okay. And it's Daniel 12, three, Daniel one, two, three. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Okay, so it's those who are wise will shine as bright as the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness will shine like stars forever. Okay, so what the Lord is saying is you're getting ready to shoot for the stars. Okay, you're going on a big mission with the Lord. He's getting ready to launch you into the stars. Okay, and your mission, regardless of what it is, what is to bring others into the kingdom of heaven. Like that's ultimately what you're doing. Your ministry, your marriage, you're going to be glorifying Jesus Christ and winning others over for the kingdom of God. You know, we're taking back territory for Jesus Christ, all right? And we're doing that in a lot of different ways, okay? So be seeking a lot of wisdom in this hour. Be seeking a lot of wisdom in this hour. Be seeking a lot of discernment in this hour. Be excited in this hour. I mean, you have went through some serious training, you know? It's time. It's time. You know, also, too, uh, a good confirmation that I got was I'm seeing all this NASA stuff. And this is, you know, I, like I said, this was when I was really just 
starting to walk into a lot of my prophetic gifting. So part of me is tempted to think I'm reaching, I'm going crazy, you know, <laughs> making this stuff up. And the Lord always brings in people at the right time. And then uh, Alan, Alan Oss. Yeah. So South Africa, he's a prophet and he always shows up right on time. He's oh. He is in it to win it. Alwyn is in it to win it. He's like leading the forerunners at this time. But he he had a word as I'm getting all this stuff. And he's talking about how he's seeing NASA everywhere. And he's talking about launching too. So what that's saying is a lot of a lot of the prophetic voices were all flown in the spirit together. We're all hearing launch. And the Lord's getting ready to launch a lot of us out. And, and, it's, and it's really exciting. And I just love how personal... How pers how personal the Lord is uh, revealing those things to us. Like you said, like the confirmation is exciting. It makes us feel like little kids. You know, like Lord's speaking to me through a Rice Krispie wrapper or this song or you know all these different things through numbers. And He's just He's such a uh, an alive God. He's such a living God, and and He loves communicating to His children in unique ways, just like we like to communicate to our children in unique ways. And I love how. He's he's doing things and sometimes we don't we don't understand it until we go farther into the future, right? So he brings this astronaut in days before I'm ever even given my mission assignment. He says, I'm gonna bring a real life astronaut into your life and it's not gonna make any sense to you until months later. <laughs> he's like, But I got a big mission for you, Raven, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this person in and I hope one day I meet, I come across Jerry again and I tell him exactly why it is that the Lord, the Lord allowed us to cross paths. And it's cool too, because, um, the other person who met him, like we had met Jerry, he's, he's prophetic too. Do you know what I mean? It was a prophetic encounter for both of us. And we were actually able to pray over, pray with Jerry because he's was in the season of just traveling the world and he just happened to pop in at the right time on God's time, you know, and it was just, it's really exciting how the Lord does that. And just, I love it. You guys, I love just how, how personal our God is and how he works in the details. And I pray that, you know, that my eyes would always be open to see him working in the details, but I can praise him and thank him and that your eyes would be open to see him working in the details as well. Okay, but if this is for you, you're getting ready to launch. Be excited. I'm going to be releasing another word at some point about uh, the song. So I got an Imagine Dragon. I love Imagine Dragons. So when I got that song, I was, oh, Lord. Right? So uh, it's Children of the Sky. And the whole song is so prophetic. It's so prophetic. I might have to just do it today. But when I make it, I'll link it in this, in this video, but yeah, get ready to shoot for the stars. It's going to be so exciting. Okay. Be prepared to launch and, um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm excited. I'm excited to see them stars. Okay. Amen.